Doug, Nova and Archie have been stuck in social housing limbo for four long years. Now the family is living in a motel room, fearing they could be tossed out at any moment. Doug's not asking for a handout, he's just asking for help. When you are at your lowest and you need somewhere to live, there, there is no help available. I told the kids that we'll have our own house and now I feel like a bit of a, a liar. Doug Bowen's a devoted single dad to seven-year-old Archie and Nova, aged eight, who lives with cerebral palsy. The family waiting patiently. Do you want something? No. Easy pleased. <laughs> With no home of their own, they're stuck in limbo, living out of this motel room. Where's your room at the moment, Nova? Uh, yeah, this is it. I don't have any equipment here for that, for her being in a wheelchair or for her needs. I, I'm lifting her in and out of a chair, I'm lifting her into the bathtub, and uh, yeah, it's hard. What do you think about living in the motel? I hate it. I want a house. It wasn't always this way. Almost five years ago, Archie and Nova's mum, Corrie, passed away from complications of type 1 diabetes. Yeah, really hard to explain to your kids that they don't get to see their mum anymore. Um, if there's no one to stay at home with the kids, it had to be me. So the, I made the choice straight away that um, I'd leave work and be full-time dad. It was the sacrifice of losing a full-time wage that started a snowball effect with, with um, losing a property eventually. Doug now cares for both his children full-time. Realising he'd struggle to pay for a home again, he went on the waiting list for government housing. With no news, the family moved to Warrnambool on Victoria's southwest coast, a community with plenty of support and activities, especially for Nova. Ah. Doug even found part-time work as a mechanic, doing whatever shifts he can while the kids are in school. The family had been put up by a friend, but at the end of last year, found themselves with nowhere to go, despite applying for social housing back in 2019. I assumed it would be a stepping stone into hopefully the government housing, um, but no, it's sort of extended out into a couple of years and yeah, and that had, had to come to an end. Oh, I was told that there is no housing available. The Salvation Army put Doug and his kids in the motel room for a few days. After going public with their story, anonymous community members rallied and paid the bill until March 12. Doug says only then did he hear from the Department of Housing. And when the department called, what did they say? Sorry. <laughs> and I said, Thank, that's great, but do you have any housing available? And I was told, no, we're just ringing to apologise that no one had contacted you in the last four years. Were they able to give you a time of how long it might be before you have a house? No, as they said, we do not like to give estimations out, but it could be more than months, it could be years. Well, it's wonderful you've had all of this support from the community. It's not really their job, is it? No, not at all. No, they're not responsible for us at all. No, I'm responsible for the kids. Um, and I thought that me approaching the government for government housing four years ago, I thought they would be responsible in a way too to help find somewhere. Would you like to have a house, Nova? Yes. What would be good about a house? Uh, the oven. Yeah. Doug and his family are desperate to stay here in Warrnambool, where they're part of the community. Their local MP says there are vacant homes here, owned by the government, where she believes they could be placed. This is one of the houses you believe is vacant and owned by the department? This has been vacant for some time and it is definitely owned by the department. It's been sitting idle. We've got a housing crisis and I see this quite a lot. 
Local MP Roma Britnell says she's watched the social housing list grow, but has never seen a family fall through the cracks quite like this. This is a family that needs a house now and the government needs to fix the problem. She's confident the community would work together to get a house ready for the family if the department allocates one. Doug needs help and he's not asking for a hand out. He's actually asking for a hand up. Doug says the department recently encouraged him to go into a private rental program, but says his family needs the safety net of social housing. Rentals are out of reach for someone on a disability pension. Uh, I take the responsibility of looking after my kids and bringing them up the best I can. It means I can't afford to pay for a private rental. He needs to be in social housing where no more than 25% of your income, whatever that may be, goes into housing. I'd be happy to pay the rent. <laughs> in a statement, the Victorian Department for Families, Fairness and Housing says... We have been working hard to find a long-term housing option for the family. However, there are currently no social housing properties that meet the family's specific needs in Warrnambool. We're exploring all avenues to find them a suitable home. We just want somewhere that we can go home to each night. Goodness me, Doug and his kids deserve so much better, don't they? And they're exactly the sort of family that public housing is for. Rest assured, we will stay on the case.